stop doing proper runs of the game to run this randomizer. Um, like just do random uh, seeds with it every now and then. And it's been probably one of the most <laughs> revitalizing ways to play the game after grinding constantly on the vanilla game. So just a new way to play, obviously, like much like randomizers are in general. Um, I hope this is like <laughs> what I've got in the bottom right here is actually the recruitment um, checklist because uh, there's no splits, obviously, for randomizer. You don't know what you're going to recruit first. Um, so I've got a list of all the possible recruitments. Each one of these totals up to 100 prosperity points. For this run, I'll be doing 50, which is the requirement to just beat the game normally. Um, and as I tick, tick off, I don't know if you'll be able to see the counter above it. It's pretty small. Um, but if I tick one of these off, I get one prosperity point for a rookie. Uh, for a champion, I get two. And then for an ultimate, I get three. So for clicking these off, I'll total 50 prosperity points, and then I'll go do the final boss of the game. Um, and the way you recruit them to the town is just fight them or do a chore for them or something like that, and then they'll come back to the city and you'll eventually unlock the final area. This is expected to take um, anywhere around two hours, I, I expect. Depends on what I get in terms of item drops, ability that I start with, which is completely randomized, as well as attack power of those abilities. Um, your inventory that you start off with is randomized. Uh, and Digimon, and enemy Digimon power and abilities, or rather just their power is different as well. So it all depends on my luck of how long this takes, but I'm hoping to get under two hours. Uh, that's usually the goal for these things. And yeah, we will see how we go. All right. Well, I am ready to count you down whenever you are. Just let me know. Yep. Cool. Um, so I'm actually going to get into the main town first. That's usually where the timer starts for this game. Um, as you can see, like on this, it's got gibberish text. That's just your hash. So you can compare it with races. It's actually a really cool feature. Um, I'm going to pick you... When you answer these questions, you get a choice of two Digimon to start with. Uh, with the randomizer, both those Digimons that you start with are randomized in rookie form, so you can only get another rookie. Um, so I'm just going to do the first slot. Uh, I'm going to name my player Legs. The shout-outs to the Broly emote Legs. It's a good one. Um... And for Digimon name, uh, we'll call it Eat Ass. There we go, dude. I am so glad to see you eat, eating ass for the next two hours. It's gonna be so ass is in capital letters, just to like make it so make it the most important word of that whole thing. This is automatically going to be the best seed. Okay, so. It's gonna load the town in, which will, which will show what Digimon we've got, and then once I confirm the first text box, that's when the time will start. So I'll just count us down when we're there. Yep. Okay, that's actually really good. I was actually just saying to Chubbus a moment ago that I really wanted Kunamon and I got him, so that's really good because uh, I've been practicing slots with Kunamon, so. All right, I'm uh, ready to count down. All right, so in three, two, one, go. Good luck. All right, here we go. Good luck. All right, here we go. So, so if you've seen a run of this before, you'll notice you've seen that a run of this before, you'll notice that the intro text has been skipped. Um, of absolutely quality of life improvement added to the randomizer is to skip the intro text like that. So we're there's a, it's a really really good thing. Um, we jump straight into the gameplay this way. What I'm going to do first off is get items. As you can see, Kunamon is already sleeping. I've just started. It's just his um, day and night cycle. Um, he's a nighttime Digimon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready for slots and I'm going to um, reset my system and load my save again. So when it comes to Digimon, 
Um, you can't exit out of the game and go back to the main menu. You have to actually console reset every time you want to reload your save. But doing so actually resets your RNG as well. Uh, so, this is a randomizer, but the way the RNG works in it is still very much like what it does in the vanilla game. Um, so I'm able to RNG manipulate my slot patterns at the beginning, but that's it. Like After that, everything else is off the table and I have to just kind of run the game as it is. Um, so I'm going to try pull off at least three slots, I hope. Um, that will give me enough attack power to uh, do some damage if I have a decent ability. What items have I got? Uh, muscle muscle yam should work, I hope. Good, that did actually work. I think I had, yeah, I had an MP chip, that's good. Something we can feed that he'll fail with. So this is just setting up RNG so that I can do slots. Okay, we're, oh, we're in there because we've already done three slots. We've got four. <laughs> Wow, this is a really good start. Okay. Um, go try and do, go, try and go for five. I actually got five. Okay. This is really good. Go for six. Why not? Like, <laughs> we might as well carry it on. No. Okay. That's fine. Um... I probably should check my attack power here. Um, what we got? Okay. No. What? Okay, that's really, really good. Oh my god. This is an insane seed. Um, let's, uh... I guess we'll feed one of the HP... Uh, the MP chips, because we're going to need it for that attack... Uh, for that... MP level, which is 186, so each attack uses 186 MP. For a Digimon that has a base of 600, it'd go through it, it'd chew through it pretty quickly. So, I'm going to train until the next day. Because I want Kunamon to sleep again. Um, I will keep... Hmm. Alright. Yeah, I will keep the MP chip for money. Uh, also, with this um, recruitment tool, I could mark Digimon that I'm going to plan to recruit. So, the red means I'm planning on recruiting it. Eat Ass is going to clean up, man. This is so good. And Spitfire's weak. Okay, that's good. Wow, that does a lot of damage. It'd be nice if you attack, though. Please attack. Oh my god. Don't do this to me. Okay. That's not great. Um, the MP usage is a bit ridiculous. And he didn't drop an item. Okay.
That is a terrible item to get. <laughs> so. Uh, enough of it there. Enough of it there. Okay. Moving on. I'm going to check uh, the PC. There's like PCs that have items in them and those are all randomized. They can give uh, Digivolution items so I can easily evolve into a champion level Digimon as well. A super recovery. Okay. I really need an M uh, MP item because... Um... I can't find I can't fight Kunamon because he has Danger Sting, which is really strong. Uh, that's the that's the move I've got, so he'll have that too. So Mirror Match will have to wait. Can't believe I got an attack of three hundred ninety nine. Oh, actually. I'm going to feed this. Oh, I did that entirely wrong. That's fine. It'll be okay. I'm gonna try Kunamon. I have save files, like I've, I've saved, so if it dies, then I'll just reload. Uh, can I give him a sweet nut? Nope, okay. No sweet nut for my boy. Uh, give him, I could probably give him the Digicatfish. I can't give him that. Wow, uh, what the fuck do I give him then? I'm not giving him the Happy Mushroom. Oh wait, that'll give him the happy mushroom. I can't give him that either. Uh, wow, there's literally nothing I can give him. Okay, we're moving on then. We'll come back. I'll take the large recovery, I suppose. Uh, power ice, okay. The power ice, um, is a feeding item that increases defense. It's something. Defense is not really an important stat in this run unless, like, I've gotten really unlucky and every Digimon has an attack power that's insane. Which can happen. Deluxe Mushroom? Okay. That's not bad. I'm actually going to feed the Power Ice as well, because the next area I'm going to, I need an uh, empty inventory so I can pick up a bunch of stuff. I'm going to mark him off because I'm about to recruit him now. So we're at two prosperity points um, for a very short time, I think, because slots went so well. So um, yeah, I honestly can't complain about how this is going already. I need to pick up like a meaty food item of some kind so I can give it to Kunamon on my second pass through. That way I can recruit him because he opens a shortcut in the town, which is really important to get done early. And with Danger Sting being so strong, I'll be fine. I'm hoping there's some DV chips here. So I'm going to farm this place for a little bit and pick up some items. Uh, power Ice. A Speed Chip. Um, yeah, why not? Speed Chip's probably worth doing. 
It's worth a lot of money to sell these chips because they're worth 5,000 bits, which gets you, you know, a ton of healing items so you can steamroll the run. Um, but if I can get a couple before I get the correct exit, the exit is RNG. Um, so if I don't get the middle exit, I can keep farming items as I go past. And that, that's what I want. Another muscle yam. Okay, that's good because I need extra HP. So that boosts my HP stat by 200. So good, good thing. Um... Damn it, okay. Uh, I actually have plenty of healing items, so I can tank a few hits. That's gonna trigger again, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So, if you get hit twice in this um, mode, or in this area, you actually get kicked out, and you can't go back because your Digimon's stuck at 1 HP. But fortunately, I've actually been blessed with some decent healing items, so I'm just gonna use those to recover and try some more farming here. If I get another Muscle Yam, I'm probably going to hold on to it. No, that's a quick chip, or a quick... A Deluxe Mushroom's okay. Deluxe Mushroom boosts my stats uh, by 10 each, I'm pretty sure. Or 20. It's either 10 or 20. I think, I think it's 10. But that's still like a decent boost for nothing. Got super recovery because that will be good to heal on if I get kicked out again. I really want another quick chip. Because he's really slow. Oh wow, I've got literally nothing. Ha, <laughs> epic. Sometimes you can get really unlucky and no items spawn, but you just keep trying until you get the items you want. Um, I'm really upset I have not seen a DV chip yet. Okay, another Deluxe Mushroom, that's pretty, pretty good. I think it's 10 to all abilities, and then I think it's 100 to HP and MP. Come on, bro. This is bad. A super carrot? I'm getting owned. <laughs> there's not very, there's not really good items here. Um, I was really hoping there was a DV chip. Uh, DV chip increases your stats drastically. So it impro it improves um, three stats by a hundred, but lowers your light your Digimon's lifespan, so he dies sooner. Um, you can usually feed about five of them with like no worries whatsoever. Especially in a run like this, you have like plenty of time. Um, so, it would be good to have one of those, but I'm thinking it's not going to happen. Oh, I wonder if I can pick that up. Let me try and pick that up. Don't knock me back, damn it. Okay. Oh, no, come on. Yeah, no. <laughs> I could have used that to heal, so that's why I wanted it. I'm going to farm a couple more times. Because uh, I definitely want another quick chip if I can get it. Okay, what's my stats at now? Let's have a look. 566 offense, that's good. Speed is 266. I would prefer to have um, 300 speed, because that would mean things will be a lot more safer. I've also got decent MP and HP, so we're kind of in a good spot right now. I'm probably going to sell the... Or I'm not, because I went too far. Uh, yeah, okay. That was smart. Uh, I'll feed the small recovery and we'll try again. If the exit is the correct one this time, I'll take it and we'll, we'll move on.
That'd be the correct one. Okay, good. Yeah, that was not enough to make it worth it. I'm basically now farming for items that I can sell so I can buy uh, healing items. That is not a good item. <sighs> Damn, the spawn rate on these is terrible for this seed. Like, in most cases, you can get a DV chip <laughs> from this area, and in this one, like, I'm not... Wow. Wow, that's awful! I've got nothing to sell. Uh, how much HP have I got? I don't think I have enough. No, I definitely don't have enough. I gotta do it. That was terrible. Uh, I have 5,000 bits from the two muscle yams, and that's it. That's really unlucky. Could have done with a second quick chip for sure. Oh, well, we'll... We will hang on. It should be fine. We'll be revisiting this area soon. I just want to make sure I have enough healing items and stats to defend myself against. Uh, Tyrannomon and Mediamon. I mean, <laughs> ask and you shall receive, apparently. Cool, I should have money now. bad spawn. Um, <laughs> sure, why not? It can only be good things. Um, I think I was 11 or 12. Okay, I think my big issue now is that I still don't have an item to give. I can give him a muscle yam, I think. I'll just do that. Now that I got the quick chip, I'm not too worried. I can't give him a muscle yam. Can't give him a muscle yam. This is ridiculous. Uh, I need to find something. Somewhere. Anything. Anything at all. Alright, damn it. I think my I think my go to plan now is to go back to town and go get meat from oh, I'm right near a toilet. It's annoying. Couldn't have waited just a little bit, I would have taken him. Did you find? That increases training by 50%, I think, for a little bit. So I should use that to get to 300 speed. Probably a good idea. That only gives... Hmm. I am worried because... Uh, Kudamon's getting close to evolution time. And if he does that... Um... I will 
probably lose Danger Sting as a useful ability. Three hundred. There we go. That's what we want. They also boost HP as well, so They're laughing. I'm gonna save because I'm worried that Kunama will actually kill me. Big concern. I'll go get meat. I'm hoping with the extra stats that Kunamon has now, he'll be attacking faster, which was the big issue with um, Ogamon. Plus I can sell things as well, so sell two muscle yams. Uh, sell the sweet nut, because don't need that either. Sell the quick chip, don't need that. Uh, sell one of the medicines, because I'm probably going to need that. And I'll sell a happy mushroom as well, because I'm not recruiting. Oh, actually, there's plenty more to sell. Uh, well, we may have should have kept that. So 1,300, I'm going to get six autopilots, um, get probably six various, yep, okay, then, cool, there we go. Alright, let's go beat up Kunamon now. We got everything we need. He beats me. I'm gonna be upset. Another oh, healing item. That's good. Because I don't know how his other abilities are, which is what the big, the big um, scary part of randomizer actually is. Like, I could get completely owned um, by any attack he has. Because like, I don't know how much power. His other abilities are such as uh, Electric Cloud or um, Static Elect. Don't know what their power is like. So he could just give me the one two Haru. But we saved, so. Done all I can at this point. Fingers crossed. Oh, what shall I actually like? Off that like that instead. Oh, okay, never mind. We one shot him. Get owned. An autopilot, okay. I prefer a chip, because like he usually drops an MP chip worth 4999. But an autopilot is worth nothing. <laughs> Although I could do with more, it saved me having to buy a replacement later. Um, okay, so what now? I think I'll do... I'll do... Pokemon? Monochromon. I'm not doing Piximon yet. Piximon is... Uh, amazing. And I'm not, I'm not ready for that life yet. Oh, I also didn't mark off him. I could have done the bridge. You know, because we got an extra autopilot, let's just go back. I can't talk to Euromon yet. It's not too early. Oops. Boy made a boo boo. That's okay, we'll go rest. He will not be out here yet. 
Okay, two. One more owl. So I need to talk to Euromon there so that the invisible bridge is able to be crossed. So I can get to Monochromon and Bergeromon. Good here, nope. So just I tend to check all the usual spawns that I know of and see if there's anything good there. I will get to pick him on very soon. I can do a lot of damage to him now, which will be awesome. But like, I want to make sure that I don't get owned. So I'm going to do these three first, and then I'll go do Tyrannomon, and on the way to doing Tyrannomon, I'll try uh, pick him on and see if I can pull it off. Double floppy. That's pretty good. he evolves into on the next day. I think it's the next day it happens. Or it's the day after. I can't remember. I hope whatever he becomes actually can use Danger Sting because Danger Sting is really good. It'll be a good move to run with for sure. So, as I mentioned, uh, the randomizer does not randomize your default RNG value that you get when you reset your console, so some things can still be done RNG manipulation, uh, like this. Uh, this shop is really, really annoying <laughs> if you're not RNG manipulating it. So, um, in this particular case, once I load this save file and interact with the shopkeeper, I will know what customers are coming and I'll know what options to pick to get past this quest. This is a long recruitment, but it gives a giant shop and the shop has protections in it if you um, do this. Which is a pretty big deal because protection stop you from getting any status effects like stuns, flattens, stuff like that. And that's all really, really important stuff, especially for a randomizer when you don't know what's going to stun you and flatten you. Because the holy grail of randomizer for like for this game is you want an ability that's high powered and has stuns. If the enemy Digimon gets that, you're kind of, you're kind of boned, honestly. <laughs> A really really bad thing unless you have protections to stop it from happening. So this quest is kind of slow, not exactly the most fun thing, but it is a very simple recruitment. I 
and I'm halfway through it now, so... Common thing I hear on my stream when I'm doing runs of this game is that this is just the worst part for everybody. Actually, I heard that so much that I actually made a video um, explaining how to casually manipulate this so no one has to deal with it anymore. We're almost done. Just got a couple more customers to go. Mark him as recruited. So to pass this quest you need to make um, 3072 bits. So in this particular case, I just make it. Get 3,080. Okay. On to the next. Kudamon, uh, sorry, not Kudamon, um, Bergeron's gonna be an interesting case. Uh, Bergeron has one ability, and if that ability has an insanely high attack power, it could one-shot me. So, fingers crossed that that does not happen. It'll be absolutely dreadful if it did. Most cases for my randomizers, I'm pretty lucky. I tend to... Uh, get Bergeron's with really, really weak um, prominence beam, which is his only ability. So, here's the hoping that I get the same this time, because I only have 1,900 HP, so he could destroy me. Kicking his ass. Wow, he kicked his ass. <laughs> so, it's quite possible that Bergeron got really, really unlucky in this randomizer seed. There's a chance that Bergeron had. Like, it had, um, prominence beam require too much MP to actually do anything, which can happen like that. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna do... Oh, actually, I'm gonna save, because I don't know Pixiemon's attack power, and we don't want to... We don't want to risk it. I think he shitted like six times. <laughs> it's a common thing, he'll get used to it. Um, he actually, if he does 16 times, I actually become a different Digimon. In normal cases, I'd become actually, or my Digimon would turn into a poop Digimon. But due to the randomizer, special evolutions like that have been randomized, so I won't become a poop monster, I'll actually become something else. Unless the randomizer is just happens to give me the poop monster. Here we go. 
I have no idea how this is going to play out. Pixiemon is usually really strong. But he could be randomized to not be at all. He has dangerous thing. Right. Okay, um I can beat that. But I do need to heal a lot. I need to heal faster than what I just did. So the ability I've got, he's got that, and it does 399 attack power, so that's why I got owned. Yeah, man. I mean, you hear, you've heard the saying, like, you are what you eat. Well, in my case, my Digimon becomes what he shits. So. Seriously, the hoping that this does not. This is not fair. There's two hundred. That's not bad. Oh, if he does it again, I'm dead. I can't beat him, boys. I can't beat him. I need to evolve. He is triple danger sting though, that's really bad. I guess we'll come back to him. Should have used more muscle yams. I figured that like 1,900 would have been enough to like start off with, but... Yeah, I completely forgot that Pixiemon had its dangerous thing. So yeah, we'll revisit him later. He's definitely something we're gonna have to do. It's just I want to have an either either a champion or an ultimate. Ultimates actually increase, like, if you use a Digivolution item in this randomizer, it actually um, increases the stats of your Digimon as well, so that's something that's not in the base game. If I find a PC that has a Digivolution item for Ultimate, I can use it, and if it gives me um, a Digimon that can use Danger Sting, and it's ultimate level, we'll be like set for the game. We'll be able to finish the run. Hopefully, he has nothing OP. Hopefully, we'll never know. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, this isn't great. I 
I've got to do one more fight for this recruitment. In recovery. I mean, that'll be helpful to keep me alive. But I could really do with some chips that I can sell because I'm already low on MP items. Item drops have not been great. Well, wow, even that's not good. Come on, man. I will say for certain that so far, this is not fine. <laughs> My, like, starting has been good, but, like, every item drop and, sh and shit like that has been just terrible. It's really unusual to not see a DV chip. <laughs> but, yeah, this is huge yikes. It's going to be interesting to see how medium on works. He has one of the abilities that, um, Tyrannomon did, so, he, he has the strong one that did 800 damage, so if he uses that I'm in danger, but like, I don't know how strong Tremor is or Meltdown, which are the other two abilities he uses, or, oh, and Magma Bomb actually. That's four abilities. That's not too bad. So that was Meltdown. Not horrible. So, one thing to also know. In vanilla game, this fight here has a very high chance Okay, maybe not a high chance, but it has a decent chance of soft locking. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm no. This wouldn't be a situation where it soft locks. But normally, when he rolls like that, he gets stuck somewhere, and it just won't progress the game. Uh, shout outs to Sid, who has. Like, he, he's, um, a guy who's worked really hard on this game and knows so much about it, probably more than any human on the planet. Um, he has put a ton of effort into removing the soft locks from the randomizer. Not all of them are patched, but a lot of them have been fixed already. Because, um, we've had randomizer races, like a small group of Digimon community members have like gotten together and done randomizer races and pretty much I want to say almost every race someone has soft lost somewhere and it has like basically ruined everything <laughs> so long story short Sid got completely fed up with it and was like yeah I'm gonna try and patch these now uh, check to see if there's any items spawned oh okay one of the greatest things about recruiting Tyrannomon is that when you go back into this area, you can find another um, partial recruitment. So it's like part of doing uh, their full st uh, recruitment requirements. Um, and <sighs> he drops an item when you interact with him that gives you an increased inventory space. So, this is very, very useful for the randomizer because you're always picking stuff up. Fifteen prosperity points, that's not a lot. Ah. 
Uh, what do I do now? In a little bit, I'll be able to talk to Euromon and trigger the Ogremon um, storyline. Probably what I'm going to do next. I don't know if Danger Sting is a really good option for him, but I kind of got nothing else at the moment that I can do until. Hmm. Change of plans. I need to consider evolution. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to uh, Grey Lords again, where I recruited Buckhamon. And you can enter the mansion with any Digimon as another uh, quality of life improvement to the randomizer. So I'm gonna enter the the mansion and I'm going to check all the PCs in there and see if any Digivolution items are available. I'll stock up on a bunch, bring them back to town, I'll save and I'll try some evolutions and see if I get any good uh, stats and get any good abilities for those evolutions. It takes a little bit of time, but it'll be worth it just to have my ultimate set up for endgame. Then I can just powerhouse through the rest. Oh yeah, this is um the Digimon World Speedrun Anthem. It's constantly repeated. So rather than just being like continuing playing while you're going into a new area, the sound actually repeats. Enter a new room, it stops, starts up again. Gonna enter a new room, stops. Starts up again. Probably one of the worst things about running the game. It's just, well, it, like, look, it's certainly up there at the very least. Oh my god, finally. Finally! We have a DV chip. Interesting. We have Buckhamon Digivolution item already. Now that's good, but it's also not really useful because he'll have Static Elect as his main ability, and I don't think it was any good. Air Grower, so that's uh, Mojimon. Blue Apple for happiness. So this area is kind of a gold mine. There's plenty of PCs. Uh, and the PCs all have randomized items. So it's actually a really good area to try and get things. Health shoe. Rain plant. This might not be good. <laughs> okay. Please be good. <laughs> so he got, he evolved on age. So I've waited too long. Leomon. 
Leomon, I don't think, can do dangerous thing. Wow, that is bad. That is bad. That is very bad. Okay. That is very bad. 46 power. I can't do anything with that. I'll quickly check this PC here. Sea bass. Okay, that's useless. Um... There's two more PCs to check in this room. Please have an ultimate evolution item, otherwise I'm going to have to brain train so he learns a new ability. Fertilizer, that's not it. This ain't it, chief. This is not what I'm after. Okay, there's still one more. This Leomon does not eat ass. I'm telling you now. DV chip E. <sighs> not like this. Um. How much brain set has he got? Okay, so he can... Tr there's a chance that Leomon will learn something at 250 brain stat. So I'm going to autopilot back to town because there's no more PCs to check in this area. Um, and I'm going to try and learn a new ability. That's pretty much the best I can do at this point. So <laughs> I guess we're going to do that. This is a huge yikes. I'm going to save as well. Because at this point, I pretty much have to RNG manipulate. I have to RNG manipulate a new ability. If he learns Buster Dive, that'll actually be really good. One more and... Damn it. Normally the chance to learn an ability through brains training on regular gameplay is low, like very, very low. Um, but in this particular case, it's increased quite a bit. So it's just a matter of getting the uh, recruitment to, or getting the ability to drop. Whatever it is, it should be better than Tremor. Tremor is super bad. 46 power, that's awful. I went from 400 power to 46. Please, 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 please. please. trying to think what else I can do. I could look elsewhere for another evolution item that gives me an ultimate, but that means progressing 
and that means I'd have to progress with Tremor at 46 damage. So the RNG I just got moments ago where I did not get an ability is the same RNG I currently have and I'm going to have her do three more training again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a catch up like this which advances the RNG by one, giving me another chance. <sighs> You're breaking my balls, Leomon. <laughs> um, trying to think what else to do. I'll give this like two more tries, and if I don't get anything from it, I really am at a loss. I think the only thing I can consider doing from there is just taking Tremor into Ogremon 1, do that one fight with Tremor, and then go into Ogremon 2 Fortress and get all the items from there, and hopefully I get an evolution item from there. That's my next plan. There we go. <laughs> no way. Okay, that's really good. Sonic Jab is a super fast move. So not only have I got a fast move now, but I also have a DV chip E, which is going to increase my HP and MP by a lot, by 1,000. So now I have 3,000 HP, 3,000 MP. I also have a really good ability that uses less MP. I have almost 700 offense. I have over 300 speed and 252 brains. This is a good spot to be in now. I could technically run with this, like, to the end. And to prove it, I'm going to beat up Greymon. Then I'm going to do the Ogremon fights. Probably do Angemon. Get ready to do Piximon as well, because why not? Five hundred for like a quick jab. It's not bad. He has kind of he has high damage though. Like that's a lot of damage, <laughs> considering my stats. So fortunately, I have a lot of HP, so we're gonna be fine. The only problem is how often he's blocking. That's very annoying. He said not do that. That's annoying. Stop blocking me, dude! So Sonic Jab does have an issue. Sonic Jab has a huge issue where it gets blocked 
a lot. Longer than it should have. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's good. Sonic Jab was decent to have, but I think Dynamite Kick is better. It uses more MP. We're going to keep it. I've got enough healing items. I'm going to have enough MP recovery items to cover it. And I've got uh, 3000 MP max. So we'll do fine. I can sell that. I can sell the hair grower. Because those are Dig Digivolution items for champion level, which I won't need now. I uh, don't need health shoe. Keep the rain plant, because I can actually recruit... Uh, Vegemon now. Keep that because I want to boost training. Uh, we will buy another 31. Yeah, that'll probably be good. Then. That'll be, that'll be fine. So we'll go do Ogamon now. Fortunately, um, Troma is actually weak at 46, so he won't be able to do much damage with that. Uh, the Ogamon quest line is actually a four part quest line, so you do four fights. Uh, but in doing those fights, you actually get the opportunity to recruit three other Digimon. Oh no, only, no, it's two. You get uh, Shellmon and Wamon, all like both uh, worth two each, so that's another four. And then you fight him for the fourth time, and you get another two from that, so you end up with six from doing this quest line. That was an unusual thing. I didn't expect to get flattened. Gonna do a bit of sorting in my inventory here. That is way better than Sonic Jab. That's a crap drop. <laughs> I can't even pretend to be excited about that. 
I'm going to grab it because it is actually somewhat useful. Because I'll use it to catch Seedramon later, which that's going to be fun for everybody. Include, like, definitely me. I'm going to have a great time with that. It's not the worst part and it's not like really devastating to do every time or anything like that. Yo, Tommy, what's up? Wait. I didn't put... I'm not going to check what's in that PC because... Too risky. I don't want to get an encounter. Um, I didn't put the rain plant in the bank. Which is really, really dumb. Because I need that. If I lose it, I won't. Might be able to recruit Vegemon, which is a free uh, two point prosperity. Okay. Enemy repel. It's okay. So this will set up Gelmon to be recruited. I'm also going to recruit Engemon because it's easy to do. Good. Interesting that that gives poison. Spitfire has stun. Okay then. Dude, stop missing. Oh my god. It's just a bit aggravating. Hit him, damn it. I'm actually going to use a finisher on this Ogamon because he just keeps running. Okay. Dad. They dropped some crap. <laughs> I just realized that Leo Mon is kind of rolly. Get some legs in the chat. Alright, so that's a skip called, um, Tinsilia just called Gaburimon skip. Uh, the way it works is normally Gaburimon's, you can't pass him no matter what. You have to encounter him, fight him to get past and trigger this sequence. Uh, if you position yourself in such a way, there's like a small gap, like a pixel wide gap that you can actually... I completely forgot to run. Um, and you can walk past him. Now this is normally not that useful because you have to encounter him just like I did. But if you encounter him and then run from him, you walk all the way back to the elevator. So it's uh, definitely worth it. I'm going to check the PCs because if there's a DBA chip, I want it. Thank you. 
A chain melon. Money. Super veggie, that's nothing. Uh, a double super veggie. RNG, why? Palm berry, that's MP, I'm pretty sure. So that's something. More MP is good. There's one more um, PC that I haven't checked. I didn't check this one. Good chip. Okay, money. That's good. Don't need to increase my speed anymore. Break claws. More money. Um, yeah, that's kind of crap. There wasn't a single uh, evolution item for ultimate. We'll go shop again. This time I'm going to buy protections as well. Just in case. Uh, so, Grey Claws. I'm going to keep the Restore in case I die because I really just don't want to deal with coming back. Buy four, uh, and then I guess buy some more autopilots. This will do. Uh, what should I do now? I guess I'll go get Shellmon, and then go do Anjumon, then do Wamon. Probably the best thing to do. Then I can do Factorial Town afterwards. The game does speed up drastically. Um, once I've gotten out of Ogamon territory, I start just smashing through recruitments. So this will speed up quite a bit very soon. What's in here? Mega Hand! Okay, now we're talking. I've got a mega. I've got an ultimate evolution item now. I'm not going to use it just yet, because although he should be able to learn, does he learn dynamite kick? I can't remember. Kind of wish I had the. Did you boys in chat to help me out? <laughs> because usually they like answer my questions like this. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I guess I could just like load my save. I'll test it. I'll save, test the evolution item. It doesn't give me anything. Move on. As I said, I can basically run with what I've got at this point. But if I use the evolution item, then I get a huge boost in my stats. So if there's something that I can... There's an ability I can use that I've already got that's really powerful, then I might as well.
What a potty. What a garbage. What a garbage item. I check these, which are interesting. I've got Digitamon's evolution item now. Ice Needle's really strong at the moment, so that actually gives a lot of st stuns. And if I could learn that, that'd be really good. Doesn't do a lot of damage though. Wow. This is like super... I'm getting, I'm getting wrecked. I need to kill one of these guys. Okay, that'll do. They could just kill themselves. I don't want to use the finisher because I'm just going to get... Did that say F? Finisher say, did he finish say F? Okay. HP chip, good money. How would I say it's going? It's making progress. I'm getting owned in terms of RNG in fights. Like that was brutal. <laughs> I'm using a lot of healing items for those things, but I'm currently at 19 out of 50 prosperity points. I'm at the point though where it's going to start happening a lot faster. Like I get 9 prosperity points from 3 fights in a row. So that happens and that makes things progress a lot smoother. at this point that I start planning all my final recruitments as well. Sleep and save because I don't know what. Oh wait, I can that off because I've actually got that already. Alright, so we want 
this, this, this. Um, that, 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 that. I guess my recruitment plan. Uh, how, how long am I into the run? I don't have a timer running. Okay, this is bad. This is bad, dude. Are you kidding me? What? This is nuts. This is actually crazy. This is a lot of damage. Alright, I might be good now. Okay, I think I'm fine. Wow, that's... I have never faced a more stronger Waru Seedramon in Randomizer before. This is insane. But those two attacks did 1,500 each. I thought I was done for. any other opponent that I have to fight for the rest of the run has that ability or either of those abilities so I think we're good on that I can't believe how strong it was <laughs> he killed his teammates like for free oh, whoops. Stop it from losing stats. 
Alright, let's see what Mega Hand gives. Um, this will be worth the reset. Hopefully, it gives something good, and we're just able to carry it still. What have we got stat-wise? Decent. Delete program with poison. And dynamite kick. Close to a decent move, but no. Fortunately not. Hold up, is that the hour? No, it's the next one. him there but better off not to worry about it now okay so uh, we're prepping for the Giramon and Andromon recruitments which is six prosperity points total uh, you fight Giramon talk with Andromon then find Numamon to recruit him as well uh, and then you come back here when you've got four buildings in the bottom part of fact, uh, File City. Like when you've hit that, you're set, um, which I've already done. So I'll come back here for a revisit, like closer towards the end of the run, I'll gain those six prosperity points. But I have to fight Giromon to get that to happen. Uh, does anyone have my current time? Like what I'm on, what's on the timer at the moment? So I have an idea of how long this has taken so far. 129. It won't sub two. I'm pretty damn sure it won't sub two. That's okay though. nice if you just stop blocking. It's gonna hit before I go off, damn. Getting your finisher cancelled in this game is horrible. Absolutely horrible. Anchovy. What's reverse program like? Nah, mate. Not worth it.
Okay. I've completely, like, okay, so back in the early days of me running this game, uh, the routes were all different. Like, you'd use a different Digimon in the actual speedrun. Um, you used to use a daytime Digimon, so every time you came to this area, it was daytime, and the enemies were different. It's been a long time since I've done that, so I don't know how to do the proper dodges for the daytime enemies anymore. I only know how to do it for the nighttime enemies, which are super easy to dodge. Recruit Numamon, uh, which is the poo slug. Uh, this Digimon is everyone's probably most famous Digimon or infamous Digimon. This is usually the one you got if you didn't train your Digimon correctly. So, everyone's pretty common to knowing. Him. He dropped the chain melon. Yeah, okay. Wow. Can't dodge them that way. Daytime enemies versus nighttime enemies. Confusing me again. Uh, I'm actually going to run from this. The two, two encounters will take way too long. No problem though. Fifteen, twenty minutes? Yeah, you do. Go for it. Getting blocked is super frustrating. He's blocking every attack. Mate. Take a hit. He got his finisher off? No, 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 no. That's it. That did not do nearly as much as I expected. Alright, whatever. Okay. Metal Sprinter has stun. I'll check it. I don't think it's going to be good. That would have been good. It would have been good if I had it for the triple encounter fights. Then it would have been awesome. But yeah, I've already passed all those, so now we don't have to worry about it. Oh, 
we're gonna do BMON and Alekmon. Which uh Alekmon's fun. BMON is the worst. And I'll explain a little bit about that soon. So this is the Beomon recruitment. The way it works is Beomon's terrified of you, so it runs away. Now, it's got four corners it can run to. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. So what you want to do is you have a one in four chance that Beomon will run to the same location you're at. didn't happen. So you just keep waiting in the location until eventually Beomon runs to you. In an actual run of this, this is super frustrating because this can cost a lot of time. One in four chance. Not asking for a lot. But apparently I am. One in four chance. This would be a lot more annoying if it wasn't the fact that you can block your Digimon from running after Beomon, because it usually runs off and actually chases after Beomon each time to try and bring it, uh, bring him to your location. But you can stand in the way like that and save a bit of time for every every try you have to do. So as you can probably imagine, you want first try for that. That was absolutely not first try, so it was awful. So I'm recruiting the giant poo. Because in this area there's a fishing rod. So while you're here, you might as well get a free, a single prosperity point. Can't do Seedramon, not yet. I guess I'll go do Pixiemon. I'll come back, uh, do some shopping, then train an extra day so that I can do uh, Seedramon. Time for the revenge. Finally, we get to beat him up. He ruined everything earlier. Not gonna lie, I kind of forgot I had so little MP, uh, so little HP from him. Oh, 
I'm getting owned, fellas. We're gonna be alright, I'm gonna win, it's just... Kinda dumb that it was this hard. Okay, it's fine. I thought I was in danger for a second, but we're good. Oh! That realistically didn't need to be that hard. Red... Red berry! Point. Kinda sucks that I was too late for Seedramon. But it do be like that. So we are on to uh, kind of the final recruitments. Like I basically get these two now, which is Giramon and Andromon, and then along, like along the walk, I'll get the rest. Oh, I, except for except for Vegemon, I have to get Vegemon separately. seen that happen before. There's usually a... Uh, there's usually a uh, uh, Gerimon, which is like the yellow Numamon, like in that area, but he wasn't there that time. Almost done. Uh, need to train a lot. Oh, what the? That was weird. Control is not working. Uh, helping my butt out with fundraising. Uh, fundraising. The marathon thing. I have to offer this game really good for. Problem is, is happiness is going to be really low. Uh, probably should.
So now we're on to the last few recruitments. First thing we fight is Ninjamon. Uh, then we do Palmon, Catch Siegemon, Recruit, Kabuterimon, Quagamon, and then the last one is Vegemon to then have 50 and be ready for the final boss. Probably got like another, I want to say about 25 minutes probably. Maybe that's even a bit too much to say. Again, I'm blocking him so often, I really say. Ninja Mon. <clears throat> Did you catfish? So this fight most people do at the beginning, but like because it's on the way to Cedron, you just wait till it's time to do that. Plus you can one shot him if he, you know, doesn't he doesn't bully. So when you do Palmon, like a lot of times the camera will glitch out like that. Here's if it's gonna do it here. Ah, oh, it is. Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh. Did this fix it? Okay, we're good. That's how it's meant to look. <laughs> It's like, you see, looks normal. <laughs> Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong here at all. Okay, I'm gonna try and do a skip. Ah, oh, damn it. It's too big. I don't think this is gonna work, but it's not necessarily a skip. More of like a really cool strat. Let's see if I can actually do this. I don't think that's gonna work. If it doesn't, I'll just do the normal fishing strat, but... I don't think it's going to. But it'd be cool if it does. No, okay. That's fine, whatever. Uh, hold up a second. Is it early? Yeah, okay, I'm early. We might as well try one more time. Oh. 
damn. I really wanted to show this off, but unfortunately, the game's a uh, bully and it's not going to let me show you show you guys. Um, I'll explain it regardless because it's a cool strat. You can wrong warp in this game by load, getting into a uh, area where you would load into the next area, like a spot where you load into the next area, get into an encounter and then run from the encounter, and it wrong warps you to a location on the next screen where you shouldn't be. And in this particular case, it wrong warps you into the middle of the lake. So that you can um, fish for Seedramon in the middle of the lake. Which makes it incredibly easy to get uh, four chances for every pass by. Whoops. Excuse me. <laughs> that was really unfortunate because I wasn't paying attention and I had something almost take my bait. So I'm going to wait. Don't. Okay. Seedramon's being an asshole, as per usual. So you see how I only get one heart? Well, like, each time he passes by. Uh, normally... I can't believe this. I've got the, the worst RNG right here. There's fish around that are interested in this bait and they're like getting triggered by it. Bait! Seedramon, what are you doing? Can I use catfish? I wonder if catfish works for Seedramon. Does that trigger them? Okay, cool. doesn't. Hopefully it triggers Seedramon. I wouldn't know because I'm not close enough. As I was saying, you get one chance from this spot uh, to do what's called fast catch of Seedramon. Uh, so when I actually hook Seedramon, I can just yank him to the shore. The problem is uh, you get one 20% chance each pass through and it takes ages for each pass through to happen, which is why I'm struggling right now but if you run warp to the middle of the lake you can aim your bait in a spot where you get four 20 percent chances to get him to bite and it's very very easy to pull him in without breaking the line from the wrong warp spot unfortunately if you have a massive digimon like his hitbox is way too big it doesn't work So you're left unable to wrong warp. So if you get like something like Mamemon or something like that, you can do it. Because you want to trigger the Gaburimon encounter while you're standing on the loading zone for the next area. Uh, but with something like Megadramon, he's too big and the Gaburimon can't talk to me or can't interact with me before I enter the loading zone. So we have to make do with what we got. And Seedramon is being the absolute worst right now. How am I not close enough, dude? I don't get it. You can't do this from any other location that doesn't give you fast catch. You could aim for the spot where there's like four chances, but... Okay, we're good. So that's fast catch. Um, normally you have like a, a tug of war to bring him to shore, but if you position yourself correctly and get lucky, I guess. You can just yank him. It saves a lot of time. I think I started running this game when, like, just before that was found for the first time.
So why Seedramon is such a necessity? Even though he's only two prosperity points, it'd be like usually like, oh, just get something else. It's like something else that's so much easier than catching him. Why would you have that in your run? Um, it's because it takes you to this area where there's two two prosperity point encounters or um, two recruitments. And they are just a conversation and that's it, you've got them. So you get four extra prosperity points for catching Seedrum or making him a six point encounter. We have one more in, uh, recruitment left, which is also just a conversation, no fight. I just got to walk there. Uh, once I've done that, I get ready for the final dungeon, which is uh, not that long. Just had to com uh, make like start a conversation with Tanamon, because he spawns the plant in the jungle that you use the rain plant on. So here it is. Uh, one thing to note about this recruitment, this recruitment usually takes 15 days of um, in-game time before you can actually attempt to recruit it. The reason we're able to do this early is because one of the PCs just happened to have a rain plant in it which allowed us to recruit this early. Um, if you have the rain plant at all in your inventory, if there was some way we could get it early in 100 PP vanilla, that would save a lot of time. Okay, so finally we have 50 prosperity points. Now I just got to talk to Digimon and he will reveal that the dungeon to the final boss, his big hiding spot, is actually in the town. So... After you initiate the conversation, if you leave this building, Airdramon swoops in and knocks you out and fights you. However, if you autopilot out of the out of Digimon's house, you actually skip that encounter and you don't have to fight Airdramon. Because his trigger for starting the battle is only at the doorway. Yeah, definitely need items. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Uh, yeah, I'll actually save as well. Mm. 
So the fights that I got coming up might take a little bit. I got uh, two fights before the final boss. What I'm concerned about now is that if they have any stun, flatten, confusion, or poison abilities, I've only got five barriers to, um, to do something with because I couldn't buy any protections at the current time. Also, this uh, this area has some of the hardest dodges in the game for encounters. So every bit of movement I'm doing here is very well planned. So we've got the first gatekeeper to the final boss coming up, Devimon. So he's just floating up here and he comes down. Strong attack. That is a really strong attack. Machine Dramon has that as well. Good thing I have 4000 HP, otherwise, this would be a lot harder than it's going to be. Confusion, huh? Okay. Alright, two more fights. Sage fruit. So brain. Yeah. Really difficult dodge. You need to get certain, you need to get a certain angle and pretty close to him to actually trigger him to start moving, and then you have to back away immediately. You can't go around him while he's standing there, so that's a that's probably the hardest dodge in the game. Because if you're not at the right angle, you have to get extremely close to him, and it's most cases that you'll get the encounter. The current time. The current any percent no major glitches time to beat that you cannot get touched by him if you do you've lost the chance of PVing. it's like down to that close of a time these days although actually i say that um another runner of this game qtora has actually routed a new route for the any percent nmg category and i have no idea how much faster it is but if there's a there's a chance that i'm actually wrong about that So we got Metal Grain on. He can be a pain in the ass. 990. Okay. Mountain Finity encounters be pretty tough, actually. I've actually got a restore as well, so if I die in any fight, um, I actually still will be able to beat it. So, I've definitely finished this run at the very least. Uh, 
I've gotten a single finisher off this entire run. That's pretty bad. Just need him once. Okay, we're good. Pedersen. Yeah, we got one more fight left. And however long this guy wants to take to get off screen. Machine Dramon, the final boss. That's a cool little, like, spawning in scene. There's a chance that Machine Dramon will get the finisher off. If that happens and I don't heal in time, it could actually kill me. But I do have the restore, so no matter what, I think we're going to finish okay. Three hundred? That's nothing. Flat. Okay. That's a problem. For those that don't know, Thunder Justice, which is the lightning strike he does, um, that is actually one of the best moves to use in the speedrun, uh, the, the vanilla speedrun. It's actually what I use in 100 Prosperity Points. Uh, and actually, actually every category uses it, so... Um, it's really strong, it does like 1200 normally. In this particular case, it's weak. Finish a glitch. Cool, I got finish a glitch. <laughs> Fine. That was a cool way to finish that off. Finish it off with finish a glitch. So. If you use the finisher and mash the change target command, which I wasn't sure if I don't think I had it the other I at least if I if I had it before I didn't pay attention to it. Um, but if you mash on the change target command it actually forces the finisher to re proc and actually happen again. So you can spam you can do infinite finishes. That's really cool. <laughs> Uh, what was the final... What was the final time? Oh, that's not too bad. I'll take that. I did say roughly two hours, so only ten minutes more than that is definitely okay with me. Shoutouts to legs. No worries. I hope everyone enjoyed it. It's like, um, I actually run this game uh, quite a bit. I'm, it's my, been my main speed game for like three years now. Um, doing the 100 prosperity category, which is recruiting every uh, every Digimon you can to the city, get, totaling 100 prosperity points. I've also done like the any percent no major glitches category, which uh, is just recruiting fifty prosperity points. There's also an any percent glitched category, which you um, access a glitch shop and set triggers in the memory using certain glitched items. Um, that's like fifteen minutes. So um, yeah, I've done I've done fair. I've been been around the block with this game for sure. 
and I'm still going further, still pushing for better times in 100 prosperity points at the moment. Um, and yeah, the randomizer was definitely a breath of fresh air from doing this game for that long, so. Word, wonderful. Uh, all right, do you have anything you want to say in closing before we uh, uh, get set up for the next one? Um, I guess I'll just quickly plug uh, ASM. Um, so ASM is Australian Speedrunning Marathon. It's happening from July 1st to July 8th. It'll be on the twitch.tv slash ozspeedruns channel. Um, I'm actually running two games for that event, Beyblade uh, and Digimon World 100 Prosperity Points. So within that week, uh, I'll be live on that channel as well as a few other really good Australian speedrunners. Um, and yeah, it's, it's basically our GDQ. Um, since we're so far away from the United States, we can't, you know, it, most of the time we can't afford to make it over. In my particular case, I definitely can't. So um, my fallback plan is to go to this Australian event and um, it's always a good time. So if you're interested in seeing the, the vanilla run in a marathon setting as well, it's happening there in a month's time. Word. Well, again, thank you so much for uh, coming in and contributing. Guys. Not a problem at all. Uh, guys, just a quick reminder. Uh, all subs, donations, and bits are uh, will put you into a raffle. We have three items we're going to be giving away. So we have a uh, Sonic Mania manual signed by the game developers from the U.S. We have a Sega Saturn controller, courtesy of RetroBit. And we have a two-disc Gunstar Heroes vinyl. So be sure to get those donations in. Um, we are, you know, we're still doing really good, guys. We're a little bit over $600 with a $2,000 goal. We're only seven hours into this, so we still have a lot of runs ahead. We got, we got Pokemon stuff. We got Mario stuff. We have a Big John block. Coming up next, we have the Daggerin block. So he's going to be doing three games back-to-back. -back. It's going to be Sonic 3D Blast, Rocket Knight Adventures, and um, Shikan the Forever Man. We'll be finishing it up. And following after that, we have Chubbis with Rystar. So stick around.